Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Terrence Bud Crawford versus Jeff Horn could become a reality if Manny Pacquiao decides to end his career and retire. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang notification gang, please hit that bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, all of the channel donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, Terrence Crawford, he first has to fight Julius Ndongo for all the belts. That's August 19th in Nebraska. It's going to be in Lincoln, Nebraska, Pinnacle Bank Arena. Crawford's home state and that's a good fight two undefeated fighters two guys with the only real significant belts I think Broner Garcia they had a diamond belt but we know the real WBC belt is with Terrence Crawford and he beat Victor Postal for the that version of the belt the real version of the belt so really this fight is for all the belts not like a commemorative trinket or whatnot and I'm looking forward to that fight. I did a Boxing Ego first look. Make sure you, you check that on the channel. It's a tale of the tape so you can get some more insight on how the two match up. But as far as the fight, on the ropes, Boxing Radio, they did an interview with Carl Moretti, who's the vice president VP for Top Rank Promotions. And he said some good stuff, some interesting news about Terrence Crawford. I'm going to read a quote and kind of get my thoughts. Carl said... Well, I don't know right now what will happen with Jeff Horn. You got the rematch being discussed between Jeff Horn and Manny Pacquiao. So depending on what happens with that decision, it could impact Crawford in some ways or it could not. If Manny decides to retire, then Jeff Horn could look at a fight with Terrence Crawford if that made sense for everybody. But like anything else, it's tough to predict now what's going to be the case four months from now. You just have to play it out on every angle. He also goes in the in this podcast, in this interview, he talks about if Terrence Crawford beats Julius Ndongo, which he, he'll probably be the favorite. It's kind of hard to pick against Crawford at the moment. But if he beats Julius Ndongo, it's not a guarantee that he immediately moves up to welterweight. He made that clear. He said it just depends on what, what is out there and what the options are at 140. But if there aren't any options and we have a clear path, to what we want to do at 147 then we're going to make that move so it's, it's kind of a team decision I mean obviously they have to talk you don't you never know you know what I mean what if Terrence Crawford loses or got a cut or injury so you don't want to you know what I mean count your eggs before they hatch so to speak and start oh yeah he's moving up to welterweight and then Julius and Dongo even if what if it like Crawford won but it was controversial you know what I mean so I understand how the the boxing jargon and how you have to talk when you have an upcoming fight you know you don't want to disrespect your opponent too like you're looking past them like yeah we're moving to welterweight you know what i mean you got to get past one episode before you get to the next you know what i mean just like a watching a show on on netflix you don't just skip to the season for now and you haven't seen the rest of the the show but julius and dongo is a good fight and I'm looking forward to that. It's a meaningful fight, of course. All the titles are at stake. WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, and IBO belt. So, boxing forgot about the undisputed champion, it seems, in recent years. So, this will be the fight to bring it back where all the belts are up for grabs. You know what I mean? We got one person who is conclusively the champion. You know, you can't say, like, oh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the champ, too. It's like... Terrence Crawford or Ndongo is going to be one of the two. So I'm looking forward to that. As far as Crawford versus Jeff Horn, I actually wouldn't mind that. I think stylistically it'll be a good fight. Terrence Crawford, he's he's a complete fighter. He, he mixes it up sometimes. He uh, boxes more, uses his legs, then he'll take stands. He'll just give you different looks. Sometimes he's a comes out aggressive. Sometimes he comes out as a righty. Sometimes he comes out as a southpaw. He has that ability to, per who he's fighting, mix it up Jeff Horn I mean what can I say Jeff Horn gained a lot of respect I mean you have to even if you had Pacquiao winning you got to give the man credit the dude had 15 fights went in there with a legend and didn't look spooked he didn't fight spooked and although badly hurt in round nine he 
he recovered. You know what I mean? He obviously he had to be tough enough and have a good enough chin to even recover because Pacquiao in the past has been a good finisher or maybe even knock you down again like he did Chris Algieri. And Jeff Horn, he kind of held on. So, I mean, whether you had him win or losing, he, he still showed heart and he showed uh, the ability to, to push forward no matter what in the trenches and not let the moment get too big for him. He was in his, his backyard in Australia, and he didn't want to be denied. So it is what it is. Terrence Crawford, different animal, different style fight. But I would like to see an interesting style matchup. Jeff Horn has some power. Crawford hasn't fought at 47. Jeff Horn likes to the rugged fight, a little bit herky-jerky. Crawford, like I said, is a complete fighter, all-around fighter. So moving up seven pounds, you know what I mean, something. So I, I wouldn't mind something like that. I think that's a, that's a good fight. Plus, if Crawford were to beat Jeff Horn, Jeff Horn's a champion. Jeff Horn has the WBO belt. So if Crawford beats him, then that could just lead to other great fights. You know what I mean? With Keith Thurman in the unification or Errol Spence. So I definitely um, look at the future like that. So I think it will be a good fight. Or if Jeff Horn beats Crawford, then wow. I mean, beating Pacquiao and then beating Crawford back-to-back. That'll be a hellified resume in, in a short period of time. And then, again, that could set up a unification with him, Jeff Horn, and uh, a guy like Keith Thurman or Errol Spence Jr. So I'm really liking it. They also talked about the idea of Pacquiao versus Crawford. Me, I, I'm not even going to spend too much time on it because I don't think it'll happen. I think when the time was right for it to happen, Team Pacquiao didn't want it. Point blank, period. All the evidence showed Michael Cox was like, we don't like Crawford's style. Or Freddie Roach was saying something about a Filipino and an African-American won't sell. People want to see a Filipino fight a Mexican. And don't get mad at me. This is what Freddie Roach said to the Manila Times, I believe. So that's bullshit because we know the highest grossing fight of all time was an African-American Floyd Mayweather and a Filipino in Manny Pacquiao. So, I, I mean, just... Tons of excuses and reasons. Crawford already been said that he would fight Pacquiao. He's down. He's not chasing him. He's moving on with his career, but he would love to fight and the opportunity, and they gave it to Jeff Horn. I mean, so it tells you everything. They gave it to a guy no one had even heard of. So there's no way you can downplay Crawford and say, no, Crawford doesn't deserve it. But then Jeff Horn deserved it with half of the fights Crawford has. Crawford has 31 fights, no losses. 22 knockouts Jeff Horn had like 15 or 16 fights as a pro you know what I'm saying so half the fights half the name you know what I mean and again I give credit to Jeff Horn he did better than a lot of people expected but I'm just saying you can't say Crawford a champion a proven champion at 140 uh with title defenses went into people's backyard to beat him like Ricky Burns beat people at home beat undefeated Olympians like um, Gamboa and beat another Olympian, Felix Diaz. You can't say he doesn't deserve it, but Jeff Horn, with with half of what Crawford has as a resume and all that and accolades, deserved it. But, yeah, I don't, so I don't think the, the Crawford-Pacquiao fight will definitely not happen now. I think Pacquiao's going to slowly, like, fade out and start transitioning to his his new life senatorial stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Crawford versus Jeff Horn. I would definitely entertain it. Leave your predictions in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.